In this problem, we're told an 85 kilogram football player traveling 5 meters per second is stopped in 1 second by a tackler. A. What is the original kinetic energy of the player? And B. What is the average uh, power required to stop him? So let's go ahead and start with A. So we're trying to find the kinetic energy of the player. So you need to know the formula for kinetic energy. So K sub E is equal to 1 half mv squared. So this is what we're going to be using to solve A. But before we do that, let's just write down our given. So what are we given? So we know the player is going to be traveling 5 meters per second. So the velocity is 5 meters per second. And we know the mass is going to be 85 kilograms. And they also tell us it's going to be stopped in one second. So the time is going to be one second. So for A, we need to know, we got to solve this formula, right? So we're going to do 1 half times the mass times the velocity. And so in this case, they give us both the mass and the velocity. So all we have to do is just plug it in. And we're going to be able to solve for the kinetic energy. So if we go ahead and solve this, 1 half times m, which is 85, times 5 squared. So this right here is going to be your kinetic energy. If you go ahead and do this, so do 0 0.5 times 85, and then multiply that by 25 squared. If you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that kinetic energy is going to be equal to 1,062.5. And then keep in mind what we measure energy in, it's measured in joules. So 1,062.5 joules, you can round it if you want to 1,100 joules, whatever your teacher wants you to do. So this right here is going to be your answer to A. Let's move on to B now. So B is going to have us find the average power required to stop them. And so for this problem, there's a formula you need to know, which is power is equal to work over time. Because keep in mind what we're given. We're given the time here, and then the work in this case is just going to be the kinetic energy. Right, because we know work is going to be equal to kinetic energy or the change in kinetic energy, right? And this is going to be the kinetic energy of the football player because they're going to be losing this when they're stopped, right? It's going to be transferred. So essentially, in this case, the work is going to be this number right here. And we have the time, right? The time is just one second. So the average power required to stop him is just going to be the kinetic energy, which is the work, which is 1,062.5 joules. And then we divide that by the time, which is just one second. So dividing it by one. Right, if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that the power is equal to the same, right? It's just going to be 1,062.5 joules. So nothing really changes in this case. This is going to be the average. I'm sorry, it's not joules. We measure power in watts. So 1,062.5 watts. So this is the power, right? So this right here is going to be your answer to B. Uh, this was your answer to A. They're both the same, but just different units, right? Because our time was just one. So yeah, these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.